and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. Today we are going to paint a red panda from Disney Pixar Turning Red. T-shirt art fabric painting video. As you probably saw in the trailer, May is the main character and she turns into giant red panda when she feels extra emotional. Red panda looks adorable. A red panda is actually real animals. Real life red pandas are also adorable and I'm definitely looking forward to painting cartoon version of red panda on my white cotton t-shirt. I also printed the picture of a red panda and I'm going to trace it on the t-shirt using my pencil and after that I will be using special fabric paint to paint red panda on the t-shirt. But first I need to prepare my working space so I have special mat on my table then I will be using this black cardboard paper because it is easier to paint on stretched fabric. I am going to insert this black cardboard paper into the t-shirt. After that I am going to insert my printed page under and find the best spot where I want red panda to be painted. It really doesn't have to be in the center of the t-shirt, it can be on the side, it all depends on the design. Looking at this picture, I think it's actually going to look nice if I have it more towards the side. Okay, after long consideration I decided to paint red panda on the side and I'm going to write right here happy panda plus it's always good to spread happiness i'm going to secure the picture and also the bottom of the t-shirt and the cardboard and i'm going to use my clips Next, we need to choose the colors. I already prepared red. We'll need white, black. So, for the orange, I may need to use both of these colors. And then, possibly, I will need to use this brown and copper colors too. I'll use burgundy for the tongue. Also, going to use this brown shade of color. And one more color that I need to prepare is this light peachy color. Possibly if I mix my yellow, white and maybe orange color, I'm going to achieve the right shade. I prepared a few colors that I'm going to use in the beginning. So let's paint! Taste is finished. <laughs> Not quite. I just love the colors of Red Panda. And I like this ombre transition. It starts with like light orange, then more of a red color, then copper color, and then on the bottom it almost looks like darker burgundy shade. And I think it looks so cool. And obviously this is just the first coat. We are going to be adding all the details later once we have the first coat painted.
So I wanted to pause here and mention something really quick. With the fabric paint, it's very hard to use light paint over the dark paint. As you can see, the light color is not really showing up over the dark burgundy color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to wait and let the darker color dry first and we'll add some highlights, lowlights and shadows. I decided to take a quick break and talk a little so even though it seems like it's not that difficult to draw and color red panda it does have lots of details this is why I have to do one coat then wait and then you know apply more colors in the second coat and third coat now I'm working on panda's face panda's mouth I'm gonna move on to her eyes and then I'm going to finish with a few more details and the third or fourth coat <laughs> okay let's continue Our red panda may and she is looking adorable next thing what I'm gonna do I'm going to write with fabric paint happy panda happy Panda. Happy Panda. And here is our happy red panda from turning red. 
Okay, let's remove this cardboard. Here it is, friends. I'm honestly so happy. I'm waiting a few minutes for the lettuce, the, you know, the shadowing I just did to dry, and then I am going to try it on. But check out Red Panda. Oh my goodness. She looks so cute. And friends, that's it for this video. Click the like button if you like this happy panda. And also let me know in the comments below which character shall I paint on the t-shirt next. Don't forget to check out our Bruno from Disney Encanto inspired t-shirt art. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon. Bye!